Can I use my existing Gmail account as an Apple ID? Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore a question many of you have asked. Can I use my existing Gmail account as an Apple ID? The short answer is, absolutely yes. Now, let's dive deeper into the process and see how this is done. What is an Apple ID? Before we start, it's important to understand what an Apple ID is. Your Apple ID is the account you use to access all Apple services, like the App Store, iCloud, iMessage, and FaceTime. It includes the email address and password you use to sign in, and all the contact, payment, and security details that you will use across Apple services. Can I use my Gmail account? Yes, you can. While many people think they need to have an iCloud or me.com email address to create an Apple ID, that is not the case. You can use any email address that you wish, including your existing Gmail account. Your Apple ID is essentially your username for accessing Apple services, and it doesn't need to be an email provided by Apple. How to set up your Apple ID with Gmail Here's how you do it. 1. Go to Apple's ID creation page. This could be on the Apple website or within any Apple device setup process. 2. Choose, Create Your Apple ID. 3. Fill in the required details, but when you reach the field for email, enter your existing Gmail address instead of creating a new Apple one. 4. Complete the form and proceed. Follow the rest of the prompts to set up security questions, verify your identity, and finish creating your account. Once done, you will be able to use your Gmail address to log into Apple services, instead of an at iCloud.com or at me.com address. So, there you have it. As you can see, not only is it possible to use your Gmail account as an Apple ID, it's actually pretty easy to set up. Remember that this is applicable to any email address, not just Gmail. Whether you're a longtime Apple user looking to switch things up, or you're new to the Apple ecosystem, this information should come in handy. Your email address does not limit your ability to use Apple services. Thanks for watching, and I hope this guide has been helpful.